Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. I'm down here at the Izola pits, I'm going to water all the corn that's come up. This corn here that I planted a week ago or so has started to come up. I'm going to give it another drink. I'm running water into the pits now. It's been several days since I've been down here. I'm, I'm going to have to start making a point to come down here every day because a couple of those pits down on the end are really low on water. I'm running the water in right now. Take all these a little drink here. I keep hoping for rain, but I'm beginning to wonder if it's ever going to happen. Again today, cloudy, looking like rain, and nothing. Uh, Marcel hears from her family down in Mindanao, and it rains for 30, 45 minutes twice a day down there. And we don't even get a sprinkle here. It's kind of disheartening. This corn is already starting to get ears on it. It's already starting to produce. Which is a good thing. Yeah, I know I'm just giving them a splash here on my way down and then I'm, I'm going to wait a few minutes when I get down here to the end and then I'm going to water them again. It seems to work better if you can wet the soil a bit uh, and once it, once it gets a little bit wet then it seems like it'll take the moisture much better once it, you know, once it gets started soaking in. This corn down here is not doing well. Probably lack of water. Alright, well I watered that row there. Uh, a few people were asking how, you know, how is this corn going to find its way out of the holes? And as you can see, it's not, it's not having much of a problem finding its way out. Um, the corn just seeks out sunlight. And uh, it, it, it'll poke up through these holes. You can see that one down in there. Maybe you can. Anyway, there's a, there's a piece of corn. There's a corn plant down in there. And there's one down in this one too. They just... Uh, they sunlight is life and so uh, that's what they do this is how I'm watering uh, I have come to the conclusion you know everything's a learning process here and we uh, are going to change things along as we go one thing I'm going to change is I'm not going to put the manure in whole anymore I'm going to make uh, well it's like a it's like manure tea you just take, uh, in our case, it would be one of the large feed sacks, uh, fill it full of manure, and I would just lay it in one of these pits. And it would act as a giant tea bag, and uh, the nutrients, I've done that in the, in the tilapia pond before, you've got to go back a long ways to find that video, but I've done it before. Uh, shown an example of doing it. You're just making a giant tea bag except using tea you're using uh, in this case it's going to be carabao dung so instead of making a giant tea bag you're making a giant poop bag giant poop bag because uh, as this is watered I mean this this dung 
has been in here for how long? Several months. And it's still, or not several months, but several weeks. And it's still in clumps. And it floats on the surface. So when I come along here, uh, I've got to kind of move it out of the way so that I can uh, water. And still, some gets in the bucket. And so it, it ends up here. So I didn't push this seed down for some reason. It's like four of them here. What did I do here? Hmm. Well, it'll come up now. I must have I must have been talking instead of planting. I missed a, a little section there. But anyway, regardless, and I want to do this before I forget now that I'm thinking about it. I had you know, Tata and I had this discussion. I told him that uh, I wanted Nereo, or I, I told Tata I wanted someone to put the holes in the tarp. And Tata and I had been discussing how to do it for a couple weeks. And he finally came up with a, a sharpened steel pipe, which uh, we just go along and poke holes in it with, and that's fine. Uh, so I told him to have someone put holes in the tarp. But not to plant anything because I couldn't trust anyone to do it right except me. And he kind of giggled and laughed. Uh, at least I knew he understood what I was telling him. Uh, come to find out, uh, he had Nario do this. Nario did a great job putting the holes in. Uh, but Tatai had also told him to plant the corn and had told Nario to uh, put the seed in and cover it with an inch of soil uh, and that's all he told him. So as you can see the, in, some, in some of these there's two plants. I only put one seed in the hole. There's two in that one, there's two in that one, there's two in that one, there's two in that one right next to the pole there. Um, but the reason I told Tata what I told him, and, and I had noticed by the time I was, I had planted all this side and kept seeing a seed every now and then, and I went, well, maybe I just dropped it. Um, but by the time I got over here and I'm planting this one, I could see more seeds in there and I knew I had, I knew it wasn't me. So what had happened is Nario had planted seeds except and this is a perfect example right here he didn't cover the seeds that's a little red seed right there that's a little red seed right there I don't know if you can see them uh, he put the seeds in he didn't cover them and he didn't water them this little corn plant by here by some miracle has come up so I'm gonna water it and we haven't had any rain. How, how that little corn plant managed to come up, I don't know. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a bunch of these came up. There must be a leak under that tarp somewhere. Oh no, I planted that row. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there's a total of... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six plants that have come up. So here's another here's another seed right here. Maybe you can see that one. There's actually two in there. Yeah, maybe you can see that one. So uh, I don't know. That's why I told Tatai what I told him. That I didn't want anyone planting this except for me because I couldn't trust them to do it right. And even though Nario was given instructions on by Tata, you know, I gave Tata the instructions for no one to plant but me. And then Tata gave the instructions on how to plant. And uh, no one's instructions were followed. Uh, mine weren't followed to have no one plant. Tata's weren't followed to cover the seed up. 
and neither one of them thought that uh, the seed would need to be watered after it was planted. Uh, another illustration and frustration. Um, so Nerio wasted, oh, I don't know. He planted that row over there as well. I don't know how many, I don't, you know, I've never counted how many holes are in one of these rows. But he planted, and he planted all this um, with about five plants coming up per row. I'm going to stop and count the holes in one of these rows and then I'll start the video back up again. All right, I'm back, I'm back down here because I went down there and then walked back and counted. I only counted this one row, but it's pretty much indicative. I, don't, I wouldn't see any of the other rows being off, plus or minus five. So there's 120 holes in this. And so, and Nereo planted one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So six times 120, uh, that's 840 seeds. Or no, 700, 720 seeds. Six times 12 is 72. So uh, over 700 seeds basically were wasted uh, because one Filipino can't follow a foreigner's direction and another Filipino can't follow a Filipino's directions. Uh, it's just the frustration here of people just cannot seem to follow instructions. I don't know why. I don't. I, I've heard from other expats that it's not. It's not a phenomenon uh, unique to this particular foreigner, uh, and nor is it a phenomenon unique to other Filipinos. Uh, just don't listen. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you would have, I would have thought, and I'm not meaning to bag on Nerio, I'm just doing it as an example of uh, how things can, how you can end up with a train wreck. Uh, I would have thought that Nerio, being a province guy, a country boy, would at least know that when you plant a seed you have to water it, but I guess not. Um, it just boggles my mind. It, it, I've talked to other expats here and it's a different it's a different thought process it's not that they're any more or less intelligent it's just a different thought process they just, just think differently and oftentimes the results can uh, just make some make your head explode you just wondering what is going on now see this one here, this little guy here, is going to prove me wrong because he has grown underneath the tarp. Because there is a, there's two tarps here. There's a tarp in the middle, and this tarp is in the way of these because they, well, just because they, they, the tarps weren't. Uh, this tarp that was spaced in the middle wasn't put all the way underneath before they started making holes. So anyway, uh, you know, my, our channel is about uh, our experiences here, and I try to make it about what to do and what not to do and what to expect and not to expect uh, for foreigners who may want to come to the Philippines. And for uh, uh, Filipinas and Filipinos as well, who might be missing home and want a little look, want a little looky see at what's going on. And uh, so, even though it may not be incredibly popular to call it like it is, um, and it might seem like I'm picking on people at times. I know it to some people. It seems like I am. Uh, but it's not my intention to single it out, single anyone out. Uh, it's my intention just to uh, give examples, uh, not, not hyperbole and not, uh, you know, just not, I heard from this guy or I heard from that guy or I saw this happen. Uh, my experiences here in uh, 
real life in real time and, and real people as examples. I'm going to have to do a little bit of adjusting here because these guys and I'll take that on myself. I didn't put the seed right where it needed to be. So anyway, I'm going to finish watering these. Get them all nice and soaked up here. Even the ones that haven't come up. They're just, just now starting to come up in that last row. I planted all these the same day, so you'd think they'd all be coming up the same time. And they'd all be the same height now, but they're not. Tis what it is. I'm going to keep watering the ones that Nerio planted. Because why not? And I may come back at some point... You know, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I see a seed that Nerio planted that's been in there a couple weeks if I should just push it down in the soil and water it or just put another seed in. I don't know how viable those seeds that he planted are. I just don't know. I think I'm just going to do it the way I did it over there. Just put new seeds in it and call a loss a loss. It's only seeds. Uh, I bought a lot. And I've probably got enough to plant, oh, I don't know, another eight or ten of these rows. Maybe could make it all the way to that tree line back there, I just don't know. But anyway, you're going to water these up. Uh, the ones on this side that have come up. going to water them all in anticipation that something may come up. I did notice when I was planting seeds in this row that there's a there's a lot of space between the top of this tarp, you can see how it's moving there, and the soil itself. And so the top of the tarp is a quite a ways away from the soil. And I'm thinking that the reason these aren't coming up is that they're getting quite a bit less sun uh, being, I don't know how else to put it, that hole is way down in the ground. So maybe uh, the sunlight isn't reaching down there after they sprout to show them the way, I don't know. Maybe they just need watering again, who knows. If it's that they need watering again, then here we go. I'm going to water them again. Ooh, what happened to that one? Where'd you go? There you go. And then these down here, where the tarp is a little closer to the ground, have come up. I think that's what it is. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of sp a space between the top of the tarp and the ground down there. That's why they're not coming up. Maybe. Who knows? back up through there.
Now if it doesn't rain again, if it doesn't rain again, if it doesn't rain at all in the next couple days, then I'm going to be down here doing this again. Because they, they need to be, they need uh, water when they've just come up. And who knows, really, who knows when we're going to get any rain. This is supposed to be the rainy season. I think the hole's threatening to turn into a, a desert island. Because we're just not getting the rain here. In any way, shape, or form. Now again, on this side, because these are this is a another row that Nario planted. Uh, I don't know. He's probably got 10% germination here. They've come up with no water and not being covered in the soil. Oh wait a minute! Right side, left side. I don't know, maybe I planted both sides here. I hadn't thought that I had, but maybe I did. No, Nereo had to have planted, planted this one. Like, I'm looking for seeds so I can kind of make a guess as to who planted this but yeah I see one there I don't know well I'm going to water them anyway so I'm just going to water the whole roll if they if they come up they come up All right, for some reason the camera stopped recording and I, at this point, don't know where I stopped recording. I may have been rambling on for five or ten minutes and it wasn't recording. But anyway, I've watered, I just went ahead and watered everything because I know <coughs> Nereo planted everything. Nereo and I planted everything. So after I had watered everything that I planted, I just said, yeah, you know what? Some of the corn that he planted is coming up even without any water, so uh, maybe some more of it would come up if I did water it. So I just went back and watered it all. Uh, I'm going to be running this water uh, until I go to sleep tonight. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon when I turn this on, so I'm going to be running it probably for nine hours because uh, I'm assuming that this tarp has a serious leak in it somewhere because this pit is almost out of water. It's almost dry. Well, it's not dry. I mean, I don't know how deep it is, but you can see the soil and the manure poking up through the azola. This one here seems fine, and this one here seems fine. But that one there obviously has a serious leak in it somewhere. Not a serious leak, or it would be bone dry, but it has a leak in it. Um, don't know if it's due to this poor quality tarp, or somebody just stepped on it and poked a hole in it. Don't know what it is. Could be leaking around those the pipes, I don't know. But anyway, they all need water. Um, even this pit here has gone down an inch. Alright, the camera's acting weird. I might have got it wet. I don't know. Uh, thank you everyone. Please like, 